Hey guys, okay, um, so I'm filming from here so I can get clearer shots, and then I'm gonna go outside. Um, so, hold on. My favorite part, ignore my scars all over my stomach and my arms now. My skin is like going nuts with irritation from my patches and it started with all of this. I don't know why, but um, yeah, so I'm like obsessed with hip bones and in the back. So, um, <laughs> treatment. It went poorly. Um, I guess it could have helped, but, um, so I'm going to put this somewhere else so I can actually talk and then go outside. Um, and then, Doing this for my iPad is so hard because I have to balance it places. But okay, so um, as you know, I went to treatment. I made a video from treatment, but um, I haven't posted it yet because I feel like I look fat in it, so, <laughs> which I feel like I do now. But I've lost more weight since I've been back. So. Um, so I went there, and um, as you know, I've had my job for almost two and a half years, and they said that they would hold my job for me until November 30th. Um, when I left, I was very behind, um, very, very behind. I couldn't focus, you know, I couldn't do anything, and that's where I got the hint to go in the first place, but um, and I learned that when you don't eat, your body fuels off of your brain, so it just shuts down. So that explains that, um, which I already knew, but it gets into like a place where it's just super bad. So, and I'm kind of still there, so bear with me if I seem weird. Um, but anyway, so I went and I was in touch with my job and the place was saying that they were gonna keep me until January, and I don't know why I thought it was like a week-long thing and I'd be better, um, which I, I mean, I knew that wouldn't be the case, but, um, so they were just so, I mean, it was really hard. You have to have these three big meals a day, um, and snacks, and, um, I mean, it's just like constantly eating, which it makes sense, and, but, um, and then groups and everything, and you can't have any caffeine, um, which I didn't really realize how much Diet Pepsi I'd been drinking. Um, I was drinking like 12 cans a day of Diet Pepsi, and so, and then a couple cups of coffee in the morning, and so not only did I have like horrible caffeine withdrawal, like headaches and everything, I kept falling asleep. Um, like constantly, I couldn't stay awake after we had meals, I would just like pass out. Um, because, I mean, it was painful to eat and then, you know, it made me really sleepy. So, I mean, it was like having Thanksgiving dinner like over and over and over. Um, so, um, they started thinking that it was my medications, but they thought it was my medications. From the get-go, they were concerned about them because people aren't used to you know, a 29 year old having chronic pain and also an eating disorder that's just fishy. So, which it's like, it took me a year and a half from my car accident to be able to walk and function like I am right now. And my pain doctor has done that for me. So I am very protective of that. You know, I function very well. 
Um, I mean, I was working full time, so I was like, this isn't my medications. I've been on these for a long time. It's something else. So I think it was the Diet Pepsi. But anyways, so weaned off of that. Well, not weaned. I guess I <laughs> had to do that cold turkey, but we would sneak. We'd go to Walgreens and we would sneak things like that, which I got caught. <laughs> Um, and they took all my diet Pepsi away, anyways, but, um, so it was November 25th, and I was just, like, fed up, and I had tried to leave, like, a couple days before, and they didn't let me, I mean, they were just doing all the preventative stuff, and so I was like, okay, I decided to stay, and then, um, November 25th, I went there in the morning, and to get weighed. Um, they did that every morning or almost every morning if your name was on the board, which it pretty much was every day. They do all your vitals and blood and stuff. But um, And the nurse said that um, they saw that I was abusing my nicotine lozenges. And I was like, you're fucking kidding me. And she was like, people like you will do that. And so I just want you to know that we know and I forget what, it was just so insulting and so just assumptive and oh, I was just so so pissed and so I was like that's it I'm done give me my keys which took like hours and hours and I called my mom crying I was like they're calling me a drug addict here you know they're being so mean to me they weren't it was so focused on that that they weren't helping me any other way because it was that was such a glaring thing to them and so I was like I'm not getting any help. So I was like, my job, I was willing to, you know, get treatment over my job, but um, it wasn't treatment, you know, it wasn't helping me. So, you know, in fact, it was kind of making it worse. And I was becoming really just, like, if you didn't finish meals, you're supposed to do this thing called Boost, which is like this Ensure drink, which is like 50 million calories and... Anyway, so I would refuse to boost every time. Um, you have to fill out this form and everything, but you're really not supposed to do that. You're supposed to boost if you don't finish meals. I, I boosted once because I missed all three meals, but, um, so anyways, um, yeah, it just, it just wasn't helping, you know, it was, it, it was making me mad. So, um, so I told my mom, she was like, okay, um, and then I texted my boss that I'd be coming back to work and that I'm leaving against medical advice, but I didn't want to lose my job. And um, I can start going outside now, I guess. Um, she said that, well, I didn't hear back at all for a little while. That was around like one. And um, so that was around one. And um, like we stayed at this house it was owned by them but um they would like kind of, like take us in a van every day um so my roommate was so cool I love her so much but we had the master bedroom and had all my bags there and everything so I also took my car to the hospital so I had to drive that but so finally at like six they um said okay you know you can go to the house and get your things so I went and I was packing and um, everyone else got home and you know it was kind of a sad goodbye type of thing and then um, my boss called and I missed the call and she left a message and said that um, <laughs> that they and they had been checking up and everything and seeing how I was doing and I'd been checking in they said that they decided to terminate my employment um, and it had been decided already, and they didn't want to tell me the day before Thanksgiving. Oh, and also, my grandmother died while I was in there. My I hate to say my favorite grandma, but she and I were really close my whole life, and so it was really, really sad, and, um, I'm gonna have to be quiet when I go upstairs for a second, but, um, so... So I got this message, I mean, like, I'm literally packing, I'd been discharged, which, I mean, I was unhappy with the place, but at the same time, it was like, this is a great timing, why couldn't you have told me this, you know, a few days ago, and, shit, I just fucking lost my job, you know, I have had this job for <laughs> two and 
two and a half years, which isn't that that long, but it was like home, you know, it was, we were a family, and it was just like, my brother hadn't even killed himself six months ago, it was just so hurtful, like, and I get that they had to run a business, you know, that makes sense, but it was just uh, awful timing. Um, I was crying and you know sad of course and then my mom called and at that exact same time she had actually um, she put on a piece of lettuce at the grocery store and broke her ankle her right ankle so she was like why well, need you to come get me from the hospital? And then it turned out not to be good that she did that, but I came home and I've been um, helping her and taking care of her and everything and driving her places. Um, so yeah, she's been working from home and um, she's had a lot of like procedures. She got a bladder lift and colonoscopy and then went to the dermatologist and all these things we've been doing so I've been the chauffeur um which I'm glad to do something because I have no money now so um <laughs> and I'm terrified to get another job because I'm not ready I keep losing weight which I'm happy about but at the same time I feel like shit like it's just every minute of every day, I just, I feel awful, I feel like I'm dying, and I saw my psychiatrist, and he basically said that, and he was like, you're, you're dying, um, and, I mean, I know that this will kill me if I'm, if I don't get help, so, um, so yeah, I lost all the weight that they put on me, and more, <laughs> so, um, I don't know if I should share how much I weigh now, but <laughs> I weigh 112.4, um, maybe less tomorrow morning, but, um, yeah, so I went at 116, I came out at 122, um, so, um, I'm not losing weight super duper rapidly, but I'm not doing it healthily at all, I just, I'm not eating, you know, it's like, it makes me sick when I eat, it's, I mean, it's just too easy to not do this. I tried at first to kind of follow their meal plan and eat little, eat parts of what they would give you, but it's just not working, so I think I'm going to go back to a different place after the holidays and after my mom can drive again. Um, so, I don't know, we'll see. Um, it's been really hard for me to do anything, stay in touch, get online, even at all, like, I'm just, everything exhausts me, and so, I'm sorry I haven't been on much, um, or in touch, but, um, I'm trying, so, um, I did get a couple messages asking what I want for Christmas, it's very nice, um, I don't have really any clothes that fit me anymore, so Amazon gift cards are still always really good, um, just, yeah, that's the easiest thing, my email address is vividlygeneric at AOL.com, um, so, anyways, I love you guys, I miss you guys, and <sighs> I'll try to keep you posted and let you know when I do go somewhere, um, I hope you guys are all doing good and had a good holiday. Christmas is in 10 days. Alright, love you. Bye.